Hey, are you ready for the next two chapters in our book? I hope so. That's what you're here for. Okay, so remember, we are reading the book Hatchet. The author is Gary Paulson. What's author mean? Good job. Yes, the author is the person who wrote the book. Well done. Very good. This is the book we're reading, although we are still reading an adapted version of the book, which just means our book will have much of the same information, just not nearly as much text. So we are reading the adapted version of the book, Hatchet. When we finish, we'll still have our questions at the end. You can go to the link in the bottom of this YouTube video and print them out. But you don't have to. You can just write your answer down on a piece of paper. That works too. No biggie. We're going to start reading chapter 11. So far in our book, our main character, his name is Brian. Brian lived in New York with his mom. He was flying to Canada to see his dad. His parents were divorced. The pilot on the trip had a heart attack and died. So Brian had to land the plane. He took control of the plane. He managed to get the nose of the plane down. They crashed into a lake. Brian was able to get out and swim to shore. Brian is safe, but he is stranded in the woods of Canada. He's all by himself. So we're going to see how Brian does in survival in the woods of Canada. We're up to chapter 11. Chapter 11 Brian ate another turtle egg. Then he put them away. He prepared a signal fire on top of the rock in case he heard a claim. The lake had fresh fish to catch. Brian did not have a hook or string. He'll make a spear for fishing. So that's Brian's plans. And we've started our story with Brian eating another turtle egg. Do you remember in chapter 10 when Brian saw the turtle go through the sand? He followed the tracks and he found some turtle eggs and he started eating turtle eggs. Well, this was another one left from that. After he ate this one, he put the rest of them away to save. He decided he needed to go up on top of the rock, build a signal fire. Do you know what a signal fire is? This was a fire set way up high. So if a flame, so if a plane flew over, they would see the fire and hopefully someone would be able to recognize that someone was in trouble there and stop and rescue him. And then Brian also decided, hey, there's fish in this lake. I want to eat some fresh fish. He didn't have a hook or a string or a fishing pole or anything like that. So he decided to make himself a spear for fishing. Pretty smart fellow. Let's go ahead and go on to chapter 12. Look at chapter 12. Brian made a spear to catch fish. It did not work. Brian thought he would need a bow and arrow. He decided to make one to catch fish. Brian heard a plane. He ran to start the signal fire. It was too late. The plane had already left. So Brian heard this plane, but it was too late. By the time he got up there to start the signal fire, the plane had left. All right, so now in this chapter, our biggie's here. The spear, he'd made the spear in chapter 11. It didn't work. He wasn't catching any fish. Brian wanted fish. He was hungry. He wanted some meat. So, he thought he would make a bow and arrow. That's what Brian needed. That's what he decided he needed. It was a bow and arrow. He's going to make one. 
so he can catch some fish. And then he heard the plane. He runs up to start his signal fire. It is too late. The plane had left. So there was no rescue in the works for Brian for today. Okay, so that finishes chapter 12 in our book. So we're now ready to go ahead and look at our questions. If you have this, great. Follow along, circle your answers. If you don't, that's okay. Write your answers down. It's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and start with question one. What was the title? What is the title of our story? Walk Two Moons, Book Theater, Hatchet. What's the title of our story? Walk Two Moons, Book Theater, Hatchet. Circle the correct answer or just write your answer down. Good job. Yes. You guys have figured this out. That's correct. Our title is Hatchet. If you look at our book, right here on the front of it, it has our title, Hatchet. <clears throat> Who is the author of the book? Is the author Mark Twain, Jane Austen, or Gary Paulson? Who is the author Mark Twain, Jane Austen, or Gary Paulson? Circle your answer, write down the correct answer. Good job, guys. You've learned the author's name. The author of our book is Gary Paulson. And the author is the person who... Yes, somebody said it. Who said that? Yes, that's right. The person who wrote the book. Good job, good job. Okay. Let's go on and look at question number three. What was Brian building on top of the rock? Was he building another shelter, a signal fire, or a boat? So you can circle your answer or write it down. What was he building? Another shelter, a signal fire, or a boat? Yes, good job. You're correct correct way to go. He was building a signal fire. That way if a plane flew overhead it would alert the plane that someone needed assistance. Well done. We're going to move on to the next set of questions. If you didn't have time to get it written down, remember you can always just pause the video and start back up when you're ready. No rush, take your time. Pay attention, get the correct answers. You know this. Okay, let's go ahead and look at number four. Why was Brian building a signal fire? And if you'd have listened to me back on chat or question number three, once again, I've given away the answer. Why was Brian building a signal fire? To keep warm, to cook with, or in case he had a plane. Why was Brian building a signal fire? Circle your answer or write it down on your paper. Good. That's right. In case he heard a plane, he needed the signal fire to signal anyone above him in a plane. Well done. Number five. Why is Brian going to make a spear? What's the point? What's he need a spear for? Is it to catch fish? For throwing practice? Or just because he's bored? What's he going to make a spear for? Circle your answer or write it down. He's going to make a spear to try to catch fish. He's hungry. He wants meat, so he's going to make a spear to try to catch fish. 
Great job, guys. Everybody's doing so well. The last three questions. What kind of tool did Brian make, make to catch fish? Kind of just answered it, so if you paid attention, you should get this one. What kind of tool did Brian make to catch fish? A fishing pole, a spear, or a net. What kind of tool did he use? A fishing pole, a spear, or a net? Choose your answer and write it down. Or circle it if you have this. You're right. He just made a spear. He made a spear to try to catch fish. Okay, let's move on to number seven. <clears throat> Excuse me, number seven. What kind of tool did he want to make next? Because actually he discovered that the spear wasn't working. He couldn't catch fish. It didn't work, so he needed to make something else. What tool was he going to make to catch fish? What was the next one? Was it a bow? A hatchet? Or a hammer? Right, you're right. It was a bow. Good job. And I just realized that I forgot to show these answers. So let's go back and look really quick for chapter 12. What kind of tool did Brian use to make? Or, I'm sorry, what kind of tool did Brian make to catch fish? He had made a spear. He made a spear. It says it right here in the first sentence. But it didn't work. So then, what was the next tool he made? He wanted to make to catch fish. So then he decided to make hmm, a bow and arrow. He thought he would need a bow and arrow and decided to make one. That was the next tool he decided to make to catch fish. Last question. What did Brian hear in the sky? at the end of our chapter. A bird, an airplane, an eagle. What did Brian hear in the sky at the end of our chapter? A bird, an airplane, or an eagle? Circle or write your answer. He heard a plane. He was really excited. He heard a plane. He ran to start his signal fire. The plane was already going. So he did not get rescued. He did hear a plane go. What are two of the tools that we've talked about now for, that Brian has made in order to catch fish so he'll have something to eat? So when we did the video for chapter um, 9 and 10, we talked about what were two of the foods he had ate. And at that time, does anybody remember? What were the two foods? Ever who said berries? You're right, berries was one of them. What was the other one? He saw the tracks in the sand and he followed, yeah, the turtle eggs. So those were the two he had been eating up to now, the berries and the turtle eggs. But now he's making tools to catch fish because he's wanting meat. What were those two tools that we've looked at that he's made? The spear. But the spear didn't work. No, good. That's right. What was the other one? Okay. He wants to make a bow and arrow. So we want to see if he can make a bow and arrow and catch fish. Until next time, enjoy your time off. I'll see you later.